Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, the chairman here opened the meeting today, uh, the 8th of January. Happy New Year to everybody at 7.02. The meeting is open. Anything we should do before anything else here? Do we need anything to sign or anything? Um, we get, we'll do it at the end. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Uh, we have a public hearing, 12 Lakeview Drive, request a, a permit for a system in, incorporating a retaining wall. Am I correct? Yes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, good evening. For the good evening. Set. Um, I'm here with Brendan Kearney and Edna George, who are the owners of the property. Okay. Here are the notification slips for Thank the you. butters. I believe there are no butters here. Um, so this is that Regulation 23 that's... Um, it just has that um, it's just poorly worded that says for any wall you have to come in for a variance where the intent of the regulation was for any wall or grading within 10 feet of the property line you're supposed to come in so we have a uh, proposed system and um, it's currently um, a two bedroom and we're going to get four bedrooms out of it um, the design is fully compliant with title five um, it also and we show a I'm sorry this, I don't have a I just don't have a pen on me, but so here is a Title V conventional system, and it shows that it meets um, all the all necessary requirements. And previously, when I was before the board on a different project, this distance here between the septic system and the wall yep. was required by the board to be 10 feet. Now that regulation says should, mm -hmm. and that was what I was held to before. So now I'm showing 10 feet here, and I'm also showing 10 feet from the system from the wall to here. Um, this wall is only for the reserve area. The other wall would fit in in a similar manner. And then have the actual design that shows a Presby system, which has the same thing. It has 10 feet from the property line for the wall, and it has 10 feet from the system to the wall. Okay. Um, so there are no variants required. We're here for this, um, whatever the opposite of a loophole is mm -hmm. that we're kind of caught in. Um, about us were notified on December 7th. I just submitted those. Um, the proof of those um, so that's where we're at okay. it really doesn't need a vote it just needs no. okay your acknowledgement I'd like to know that uh, Jim Garavis sent something here on the 12 Lakeview Road he says I don't see a problem with the use of the proposal retaining wall it is relatively short and should not affect the abutting property I appreciate you coming with a new design. Okay. Three different I designs. Uh, <laughs> like well, that's your, what's like required. in your example, but one time. What's it? Like in your example, you you came in with three different designs. Well, no, so it's required. So this is the design that we're building. Yeah. But we're required to show a proof plot. Right. A proof for the Title Five. Mm -hmm. Okay. Conventional. And then this is actually, I'm sorry. This so this is the Presby primary that we're building so here's the wall for this one I'm sorry I got confused on my own plan for a minute and then this is the Presby Reserve showing that how the wall would fit in this way mm -hmm. now if you notice that the very last line of my letter of information here it says that the system is designed so that the wall is 10 feet from mm -hmm. the uh, system as I've been previously held to now if we bring it in five feet to where it is allowed because, and which does not provide any less environmental protection, it'll save the homeowner between four and six thousand dollars because the walls will be smaller, they won't be as long, and you won't have as much fill because in this area here you have to you have to buy sand because no one's going to go ahead and try and put in a five foot strip of sand here and then <coughs> regular fill between the wall and there. It's just not cost effective and time effective, so. What I'm asking is, I'm asking if the board has reconsidered that at all to say, okay, yes, the wall can be at five feet because it is same environmental protection. And that putting it at 10 feet is no greater environmental protection and additional cost to the homeowner. So I'd like uh, to Jim just, I'm, Garaffi, what you I'm sorry to interrupt. Yeah. The Jim Garafi saw this new design. This is the, I haven't submitted a new design. Okay. What I'm thinking because is. What, I'm, what, I'm, yeah. what I was reading is actually, if you want me to read the whole thing. Sure. The existing house on this lot is a two bedroom dwelling. 
The new owner are proposing to increase the number of bedrooms allowed for four. So testing was conducted, and the owner had press sewage disposal system design and will accommodate a four bedroom house. This, uh, this design comply with Title V and your regulation, but need board approval for the use of retaining wall to maintain the fill needed for the breakout grading at least 10 feet from the line. Mm -hmm. I don't see a problem. That's why I said I don't see a problem as this, as I read it. Mm -hmm. Now you're trying to tell us that you want five feet. Well, he's saying 10 feet from the property line. Right. Oh, no, he said system breakout grading 10 feet from the line. From the line lines. Ten feet from the, the lines. lines. From the I don't yeah, see it. I can if you line line. Line. It just yeah. said line lines. Yeah, line lines. Yeah. Line yeah. Lines. Well, I, he may have well, meant, he meant lines. He meant probably. because that's the regulation. He may have meant leash lines. Yeah, he might have. <laughs> we, we really <laughs> don't know. Said something. <laughs> might have said something. Okay. <laughs> so, but yeah, so everybody uh, make mistakes. That's okay. That. When you speak so many so languages, I make mistakes every day. Yeah, yeah. Explore the possibility of a grading easement with the abutters to eliminate the wall entirely. No, just. But we, that might save a bunch of money too. Maybe once after you buy their land and that's just an know, easement. Yeah, easement. Whatever. Right. You know, once you no, I have not. Okay. Um, but regards to Jim's letter, I believe he says ten feet from the lot line because that's what the regulation says. Mm -hmm. So I'm we're prepared to do this plan if it gets approved tonight. Mm -hmm. What I would really like to do is if the board consents to it, to have the walls at five feet off of the septic bed. I'd like to get that, just however you want to do it, whether you want to vote or you just want to get it mentioned in the record. If you agree to that, then I will resubmit plans with a wall at five feet. Jim can review the plan. He'll see the minutes that you guys approve it, and then he can send the permit back to you if, that's, if there's any thoughts on doing that. I wouldn't be on board with that. Okay. I'll leave it up to the board because yes. I wouldn't be on board with no. that. Yeah. Well, you're a board member. I understand. Yeah. But the question is, I, I approve it because... <coughs> I read it for 10 feet probably yeah. like now we have a little changes so uh, you got we got four people here. What's so the size of the lot? How many? So 0.39 yeah. Nice piece of property. So what's that 1600, 1700 square 1900 feet? Probably says, right, it, yeah. probably says it right here. So here's, here's the survey plan. 16,000 16, square feet. Yeah. Well you understand he read it to you, he spoke to you, he showed them. Eh, it's up to you guys to see what, if we can accommodate the gentleman. Well, I'd like to make a motion to approve this plan as submitted, dated October 4th, 2018. Any revisions? Uh, there was one revision. It's dated uh, 27th. Oh, with a revision November. dated November 27, 2018. So will you be happy? Do you have any thoughts on this? I mean, you're the ones paying the extra money for it, so I don't know if you have any thoughts. So, I mean, uh, I would like to understand why uh, having it uh, 10 feet from the, uh, the system wall rather than 5 feet. Uh, like since I'm going to spend additional money, I would like to uh, understand what it buys uh, from <coughs> any perspective, whether it's owner, uh, like the, uh, uh, whether it's from environmental protection or if it's from the operators. So, well, uh, you know, I gave you three minutes. Thank you. The question <laughs> is. If we do that for everybody. There is some time we do that, exception, okay? But I don't see no exception here, only because uh, there is a necessity on your part because it's gonna cost you a little bit of money. But I read it from the agent, and I'm sure that he agreed with me. The question is, if this was in front of a, the agent and he would have gave me a different sentence here, then we could, we could uh, argue among <coughs> ourselves. How many agents we, come and say it's from the property line, right? Doesn't say the that qu the from question from is, I'll tell you what. <clears throat> yeah. Because uh, you are a friend, and I love you guys. If you show this to Jimmy, yeah. and you come back the next time, if you want it to be really sure that we can save him some money, and then he will give me a different yeah. outlook, then the board will say yes or no. Okay. okay? Well, so if you look at 73, 73 Hartwell, which was the one that was where you held, where we where you came up with a decision, where the board came up with a decision to hold it to 10 feet from the septic system, right. Jim had previously approved it at five feet, and the board voted against that to to hold to the Title Five to the to the should instead of because Title Five says it should be should yeah, yeah yeah yeah, 
Right. So, but Jim did approve it at five feet and did say that it complies with Title V in that case. So, putting it five feet, it still complies with Title V. No. Ex well, they say should. They don't say shall. Yeah, yeah, should. Yeah, okay. Should. Yeah, it should. Yeah. Anybody got a dictionary? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to play gymnastics. No, I don't. Uh, yeah. No, I just remember when we were flying in a helicopter, oh. when it said, shall land, you did land. <laughs> when it said, you should land, you had a couple extra minutes. You know? <laughs> so there's one to me, there's a level of imperativeness to me. I understand what you're saying. And there's a level of cost for no additional right. benefit to them. I understand that. Yeah. But so. if you want to save some money, I, mean, I, I hate to do this, but I'll leave it up to the board. If you want it, speak to Jimmy, and he will say, okay. The way you ex express it to us, then we have no problem. But we have to go by what he, what he says. Okay. I have a question because I think I've heard from the board before, before that um, kind of across the board, uh, no variances. And so I'm wondering if that. No, is, no, is no, no. That's not true. We do give variances to a certain extent. No variances for new construction, which I guess this would be considered. I, did I not hear that before from Aaron? Um, You've heard it before. Yeah. 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 And so I'm wondering, is that the issue here? No. Okay. So I think no. the issue is should. The Title V says should. And that's what the board has held. Hold this up. Here's what we'll do. Or here's what I'd like to do. Why don't we approve it? Or go if you feel approval, prove it. And if yeah, I made the motion uh, too. Yeah, yeah. If you want, if you want, if you feel ready to approve it, then I can submit a new plan and try to revise it and revise the permit if you want. Yeah. To. That way we already have a permit in hand. We can kind of get going with costs mm -hmm. and things yeah. like that. Yeah. Look into the grading and easements and yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You want to do that? Can mm -hmm. I ask one more question? Would one it, minute. One minute. Okay. <laughs> Would it make any difference if of the fact that the abutting properties are all sitting? Um, Three to five or three to six feet higher than this property, you know, within a distance from no, the no. property line. I understand. And it's like a it's like a hill to their septic. Do you know I what I mean? So that's all we're coming up against is somebody else's right. hill. So I don't know if that would make a difference in the consideration between you and me and him. It won't make no difference. It might okay. make it easier for you we to get the grading. We have to make sure that the board are happy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And we got to follow some kind of a regulation. Yeah. And I, I, as much as I want to say yes. Because he knows me. Well, the question is, we have. That's not why you want to say yes. You want to say yes because. No. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. He wants to help you out. Yeah. Okay. 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 I'll just wait for the vote then. Okay. And I'm sure he's Appreciate not going to. Yeah. No, I mean, he's, he's mostly now, so. Oh. Yeah, and I second it. Yeah. I didn't hear you. Sorry. Oh, Sorry. Aye. 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 I just don't want to walk out before the vote. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear it. Okay. All right. Thank All right. You. Thanks for your time. Thank you for your time. <coughs> appreciate, appreciate you listening. You know? Yes. Mm -hmm. You take care. Seven fifteen. Okay, seven ten and seven fifteen. Public hearing. Somerset Trail continue, lot eighty eight, that's you. That's it. U forty seven dash seventy two. Request for a septic system variance. Fill within ten feet of a property line. Am I correct? <coughs> I'm at a small disadvantage here. Russ Wilson is the engineer on this plan, and he's um, feeling real poorly. He has this gentleman is fe feeling very poorly. This is no. Mr. Williamson. Russ agree. Wilson is oh, okay. the engineer. Okay. okay. And he's uh, he's really not doing well. He Are needs a hip engineer? replacement. So he's not Russ, here. Russ, Russ Wilson. Oh, okay. All right. So I don't have a plan in front of me. Can I borrow the hmm. board's plan or the file copy so that we can talk I about think it? I think she has it. So this came before you last month, I think. Yeah. Russ designed this, and it was a proposed new construction, three-bedroom dwelling on a lot on Samoset. <coughs> And I think there is one <coughs> small variance being requested, and that is filled within 10 feet of the lot line on this side, Jim. That right? The back wall. Yeah, the side. Yes, I think two walls. This was five and a half yeah. feet. Yeah, actually, yes. the other I top. This, the, was this one up here, too? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, um, I don't know if Mr. Griffiths commented on it and what his comments were. Uh, I'm looking. Okay. One second. Yeah. He didn't change his comments. Well, nothing new that's submitted <coughs> since the last <coughs> hearing because Mr. Wilson wasn't able to draft anything. Okay, I think this is a plan. Uh, okay. It looked like 
must be in continuation system. I will expect the side grading to affect the abada to the left and rear of the proposal house. It's not that one? Oh, I got the wrong one. Oh, how that happen? Oh, I got it right here too. Oh, okay, okay, my comment. Sorry. Apologize. My comment for the 12, 11, 18 are listed below and the design as proposed an infiltration area to address possibility of service runoff. Comment. The applicant would like to obtain a permit to install a sewage disposal system on the above mentioned lot. The proposal will be considered a new construction and is a vacant lot. Is it a vacant -like lot? Soil testing was conducted and a suitable area for the system <coughs> was found. The slot is small and sloped in the street because the seasonal ice water table, the system will be raised and filled for the system will require the use of the retaining wall to dig the fill on the side. The proposed wall uh, is 10 feet from the edge of the system. Now we go to the second phase, am I correct? Yeah. Which is right, right where I was reading. All right. I would expect <coughs> that the side grading to affect about uh, to the left and near the proposal house. This is a vacant lot to the right of the house and is and this lot slope to the street. I have pro I have spoken to designer and suggest installing an infiltration area on the right front corner of the lot to mit mitigate the effect of any potential runoff. The plan otherwise comply with Title V and your regulation with exception of the variance requested. I got nothing else. No, that, that sounds fairly positive. Mm -hmm. You just need an infiltration in the front. Right. The abutters on the side, by the way, this one is quite distant. And this is the closest house on the other side. Right. This is one lot, so it wouldn't be any closer. So I don't think that's going to be a problem. So I think maybe with just the infiltration system design on the right front corner. Well, and a variance, too. Yeah, and then would, would the board be variance. inclined to vote the variance? Um, I talked with Jim today, and he, he expressed a concern about whoever you have do it should be careful in their grading of the system because that will make a big difference how the runoff <coughs> consideration in. So whoever has it done, should we have them consult them when they're doing it? Or they always do, don't they? Yeah. Do they usually Jim have is, Jim on yeah. site when they're? So that, that works. Yeah. I think actually last time was more about the five and a half feet on one side yeah. and the two feet on the other side. Was there yes. any way to explore a grading easement with the abutters to so see if we can I don't know exactly what the rules are maybe Sherry knows a little better about attaining an easement but it would be fairly possible for this lot um, maybe possibly that lot as well I don't, I'm not sure what about the other side on the left um, this one yeah that's this one, this one right here right? Yeah. yeah we're not over that's not a problem that one's not a problem Kevin is that oh, good is that 10 feet from that Hold one? well that's the house that's, the, that's yeah. not the system yeah Okay. The house is on the okay. the house is only a problem in these two corners. Okay. So probably this one we could get an easement from. Yeah, I mean then you you know lose the wall in the back anyway. Lose the what? The wall in the back probably too. That's a possibility. Yeah. Um I guess what I'd like to I'd like to go forward with the notion that the three bedroom design or at least pull the board that you're all right with the three bedroom <coughs> design we'll do whatever we can to mitigate that that um, variances and maybe look for easements and if we put an infiltration system in the front you have no problem so then we have Sorry, no problem because I don't want to go back and recreate the wheel I just want to know yeah especially mm -hmm. since we might have to change engineers midstream I just want to be on the right track with this yeah, I right? think a two bed would be about the same size Two beds going to be the same size as what I heard from Russ Wilson. It doesn't make any sense to design it for two beds. We'll be here for the same variances. And you're probably going to try and sneak a third bedroom in there anyway, right? Well, yeah, I was looking at sort of what a <laughs> <laughs> third bedroom or fourth bedroom. Flex room. I, I they call it a flex room. What other people have done <laughs> in terms of new construction, and I did see, you know, one house where there was a two bedroom. This is a smaller lot, and there was a two bedroom variance approved. And what they did is they put a room in the basement that has a closet in it. Pretty much looks exactly like a bedroom, but they're not calling it a bedroom. Now, obviously, it's depending on whoever builds it or whoever lives there, if they're going to use it as a bedroom. But 
I wouldn't want to see a health risk come up. No, what we're going to do? We're, we're going to get a legitimate three bedroom. <laughs> Is that Lincoln? Yeah. yeah. You got it. Do it the right way. Okay. Right. So, so can I just have a poll of the board so it's in the record that when we come back we'll be on the same page? Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. yes. Thank you, you very you? much. <laughs> we'll be back. Okay, I'm Thank so you. Sorry. Is your meeting two weeks or a month? Two, two weeks. weeks. Two weeks. I hope we can get back by then. Does Mr. Wilson have anyone that he's working with and referring to? Or? Not so far, and um, I just think he's not. It's a hip. It, okay. Thank God, it's n not anything, you know, yeah. catastrophic. But he's in. He's miserable. Mm. Right. So we'll see. As long as he's miserable, voting, are you voting about to us? continue? It? It's not you. <laughs> you, didn't, uh, you didn't give him anything. You hold on. Should, should we vote to continue the discussion for two weeks, please? Yeah. yeah. I'd like to make the motion to continue the uh, public hearing for Samoset Trail. Trail. Anybody second? I second. second. Oh, Louise, favor? You can second. Aye. Aye. I second. Aye. Aye. Actually, before you vote, that is there a chance you would vote the the uh, approval tonight, subject to the infiltration, or you need to see that and send it back to Jim? Hmm. I think the infiltration is on there. Already. Oh, well, maybe you can vote That's probably tonight the before one. we leave. Or at least I think the one Russ brought last time. I think it was. On it. If that's the case, maybe you could vote this tonight. Then we don't have to go pay anybody else. You talked about doing something in this corner, right? Yeah. yeah. I, I thought it was the front corner. I thought the other design had it on there. Have it. Right front corner of the lot. No, it doesn't look like anything is different. What's the date on that? What's the date on it? Um, nine, nine, one, eighteen. Nine, nine, and nothing nine, eight, eight, more recent came in. There's a um, there's a new stamp from eleven eighteen. What this stamp says. Alfred Berry, Commonwealth of Mass, professional land surveyor. It's just a retaining wall. Mm -hmm. It's not a traditional system. Well, can can you vote it with an infiltration system design satisfactory to Jim? It's, it's got to be. I guess to be uh, Jimmy making the comment first and then we'll approve it. And will you um, look into the, the grading easements on the on the side? Okay. Yeah, that map really helped with the yeah. neighbors. Yeah. Yes. That's why I brought it. Yeah, because listening yeah. last time it sounded right. like you were going to have a backyard with the stuff with yeah. the, yeah. the, the retaining wall five feet, yeah. two feet, yeah, and the neighbors would yeah. go right there. The whole neighborhood in general, that's kind of okay. a nice open space. You won't have no problem coming back. Do you guys own the land back. behind it? Or it's it's a you got two sides covered. You. So that's um, the date is the. Let's just do the date and time. Okay, I interrupted you, but I'm sorry. Okay, that's a. Um, so it's the 22nd, and we can do 7:15. Make sure, guess make sure so Jimmy has a. Okay, if it, they tell Jimmy, mm -hmm. and then let us have a note or something from him. Okay. Are, we, are you continuing it or yes. you going to okay. continue it? Yeah. So we've already the date on the time. We'll That's continue it to uh There's a continue, right? Continue it to January two weeks 22nd from tonight. at 7:15 okay. p.m. Thank, Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you very much. Happy New Year. You too. George, you got anything? You don't tell me you came Happy in. New Year's, everybody. <laughs> Happy, Happy New Year, New Year to you. To that's nice. Why don't you sit down in front? So we're expecting okay. um, Joan to be showing up, and I confirmed with her yesterday. Well, that's 720 tobacco regulation changes. There's some folks in the hall. I don't know. Oh, let me see. 740. We got the the credit union. I wonder if he comes or not. Do you want to? Um, <coughs> Do you get rid of some admin stuff while we're waiting? Sure. Yeah. So that's for you to um, sign, Chairman. Yeah. And I'm checks all day today. This is a stack of permits. Um, so 
So this one is Lakeview yeah. that you just approved, and then these are the ones that you've signed but were amended, and then these others are just for signing. Okay. Thank you. Which one is pulling the one? And I'm holding on to the oh, yeah. Santa set one. This one that says amended. Is it? Yeah. This one we It had the approved. wrong um, engineering name on it for some reason. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So this one was the wrong with the wrong engineering? No. Oh this is that one this is we just one approved we just tonight. Approved. There's no plan with that one. No, nothing. I, I think, is that the changed one? Are there two changed ones? Because yes, there are two changed ones. And there's no plan with one of them? I think Okay. Not. Just making sure. Street? It's approved. These two are, um, we signed before, but they had the engineering correct? Both of these? Yes. Yeah, they just printed out incorrectly. Even, um, even Old Great Road? Mm -hmm. Sorry, by the time we get it. I know, I forgot. <laughs> it's already gone in and out. Still building over there, huh? Okay, can find a building, believe it or not. Can you see that for a second? Yeah, this is 14 what? Field day. This house is coop. Okay. Three bedroom. Field day. Bless, George. Yeah. Bless. This must be your own.
Very well then. signs. Let's see. I'll give you that back. Also, flag on Great Road. Where's this, um, Two ten Great Road flag. Is that in Cooper? Is that the um, development? Oh no. It's not Cooper. Oh, you just do Google Google Map or So we can move on to either the minutes or the board member reports while we're still waiting. I have multiple copies of the same one. Okay. If someone else wants to. The minutes here too? Yep, yep, there's two minutes. Let's uh, read that. It's one set of minutes, should be December 11th. Uh, yeah, December 14th too? No? Yeah. So this is what we're looking at right here. Okay. Can we cancel the right here? Oh, well, December 11th. Okay, we're looking over here. I don't think uh, maybe over here. Uh, what did he say? November 14th? This you one. already voted on that. December those. 14th? No, December 11th. 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 December 11th? Yeah. I just have a little. Oh, you're right. I don't want to be town cold. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. Any comment? I'm okay with it. Huh? I'm good with it. Everybody read it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll make a motion to accept the minutes of um, December 11th. Yeah. Second. Okay. The 11th or the 12th? Aye. December it says 11th. the 11th. Okay. Yeah. The 11th. December. Make a motion. Okay. Anybody second it? Is any, any I other? second it. Is there any other one, honey? Aye. Nope, just the one. Aye. Yeah, this one. This is you want this too? I think we should be December 11th. I think, I, I think we did this. Oh, yeah, yeah we did. Okay, here. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. No, so now the only this way thing is December 11th. I don't know what. I don't know where he got all those copies. <laughs> We're only waiting for this gentleman here. Okay. How long should we give them? We can we can save it for the end, and then you guys can decide whether you want to vote on them without her or not. That's just the tobacco changes, changing everything from 18 to 21. Can we just vote on it? I thought we already did. We did yeah, we you did for the grandfather, but this yeah. is just um, in the packets I gave you, just the updated regulations. That was the only changes, was to switch everything from 18 to 21. Okay. That's the only thing we have to decide on? Um, she was going to talk about some other things that you might potentially add. That's why I'm saying if you want to save it for the end of the meeting and we can just move on to um, the workers' credit union at 940 and then just save the vote for the end okay. just in case she shows up. Okay. Sure. Are they out in the hall or? There. you got to wait two minutes. Who's in the hall? Anybody? Oh, okay. Gotcha. Anybody in the hall? Workers' credit union. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not 940, I'm sorry. Hey. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> sitting here in silence. Uh, <laughs> I know. I thought we were trying to move started it along. at 7 this morning. <laughs> I'm tired. All <laughs> day. Uh, mm. That's yours, right? Okay. All right. Okay. Do you have one already? Okay, you can have all this back. Are you going to sign up? Oh. Do you want that? Good evening. Good evening. <coughs> You know, it's time <coughs> to start. Yep. Okay. <coughs> okay, I open the meeting of. Okay. Let me see. Put the agenda in front of him. The credit. Workers' credit union. Yeah. All right. <coughs> Public hearing working credit union, 119 Russell Street. Variance from regulation 10 requirement.
Good evening, Mr. Julian. <laughs> <laughs> we, we are very, very... Did someone want to come up and speak? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm we, sorry. We've opened. Well, been. thank you, Lynn. Good yeah. evening. Uh, for the record, Douglas DeShane, uh, representing Workers' mm -hmm. Credit Union. I'm sure you can hear me. I won't sit in your face if you're no, okay no, with that. Um, and again, thank you for your uh, time. You'll recall we were here to see you uh, a few weeks back. And uh, as we discussed at that meeting, Workers' Credit Union is proposing um, yeah. and has uh, for the most part permitted and is ready to begin redevelopment of its site at 119 uh, Russell Street into its new corporate headquarters. Um, that entails um, increasing the existing building from about 40, it's about 44,000 square feet to 60,000 square feet. So we are uh, enlarging the building slightly. Um, and in fact, work was scheduled to begin uh, last year, uh, towards the end of the year, when we unfortunately discovered that our uh, septic systems were not uh, going to be in compliance with your local regulation 10. Uh, so, um, and, and as you recall, that's why we came into chat last time. Um, since that time, uh, we have been working diligently to try and uh, address the issue. We have, as you know from my filings, um, been looking at and understanding the use of credit land and how that might apply. Um, we have been looking at purchasing additional property. Uh, we have been working with engineers, um, looking at available innovative technology to help with nitrogen reduction. Um, and we have also been looking into the possibility and working with town officials to discuss the possibility of participating in the town, town's <coughs> uh, future sewer uh, project or center sewer uh, program. Uh, quite frankly, we have been looking in, in every area, in every direction, to find a way to uh, to resolve this issue. We're here this evening um, specifically seeking a variance from Section 10 of your regulations, which limit sewage disposal in the aquifer or water resource districts to the six gallons per day per thousand square feet. We are in the aquifer, of, uh, mm -hmm. the aquifer resource um, protection district, which is why that is applicable to us. Um, I do want to make clear, however, that um, we are not seeking, nor will do we intend to seek, any state variances. I've been assured by our engineers um, that our systems, uh, who has been working with Mr. Graffi, as you know, um, that our systems can and will meet all Title V requirements. So we're, uh, I just want to put that on the table that we're not seeking, um, nor will we need any variances from that. So. At this time, our issue uh, solely rests with uh, Regulation 10. Um, as reflected in my application and my follow-up memorandum, um, we have spent significant time focusing on the use of credit land to either meet your regulation or as an additional condition or part of a waiver, uh, excuse me, variance uh, to satisfy it. Uh, however, while we have been able to identify a uh, sufficient amount of credit land uh, that we believe will meet all applicable requirements, and again, we've been working on what those requirements are uh, with Mr. Garafi and with the DEP and with everyone that would listen to us, um, and we have negotiated terms relating to the credit land with the property owners. Um, and in terms of costs and engineering, what would need to be done. I, I, I cannot tell you that I have final signed agreements in my hand today. Um, we're working towards them, but I want to be honest. So quite honestly, I can't represent to you that we have full control of our credit land um, or that there isn't still some risk that you know one or two, one of those deals might fall through or change on us. So uh, we're still optimistic and we're still working them, but um, I, I just wanted to let you know where we were with, with the credit land situation. Um, that said, I'd like to put the discussion of the credit land off to the side for a moment and, and focus on our discussions with the town uh, regarding the sewer program and how that relates to this requested variance. Um, um, first of all, my clients, as I said, have been discussing the sewer program with town officials, and as I understand it, um, the town would like to see Workers Credit Union, this project, 
participate in that program. Uh, they would obviously uh, represent a significant financial, you know, component of that, you know, potentially being the first or biggest participant. Um, and so, um, I, I, my understanding that the town would uh, is, is uh, would like to see Workers Credit Union participate. Um, Moreover, Workers Credit Union, and I'm sorry, I, I got I got to apologize. I, I failed to introduce my team here with me today, and I, I do apologize to you guys as well as the yes, board. Excuse me one second. These were right. Everybody there signed in. We did. Yeah. Thank so uh, Brian Goudreau from Hancock Associates, our engineer. Uh, Robert Lockett, uh, senior vice president with Workers Credit Union. Doug Peterson, the uh, CEO and, and president of uh, Workers Credit Union, and. Um, Matt Blackham from the Blackham Company, who is our uh, consulting um, uh, on the thing. So this is our thank team. You, thank you for coming to Littleton. We need something like this. So um, you. A, a, as I said, uh, my clients have been uh, working with the town, and they too are very um, um, much in favor of being able to participate and utilize the, the sewer program. But um, you know, as opposed to building, maintaining, and owning your own private system, this would be a, a great opportunity for workers' uh, credit union. However, the one problem we have, as you can understand, is timing. Uh, we're already <laughs> some number of months behind schedule, and uh, it's our understanding that it could take a couple of years for this program to actually, you know... Your program or our program? Uh, your program. Yeah. Our program is actually ready to go... Can I? On hold. May, may I uh, apologize for interrupting you for a second? Oh, no problem. You said in the beginning that you're going to have everybody from Fitchburg come in here. Yes. How many actually, because we thought it was a small group of people and the septic system would be no problem. But when you mention over 100 people you're going to have, how many you say all together? Well, I, 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 let me answer that okay, question for you. Uh, your, your, your timing yeah. is perfect. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was just going to get there. We try to cooperate with each other. You know. No, what I, mean? I, I appreciate that very, very much. Um, so again, um, we're looking at a couple of years down the road before the sewer could realistically be available to us. Um, workers' uh, participation may help to speed that up, but it's it's not going to speed it up to a point where we can count on it for this, you know, this project that's shovel ready and 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 on hold as we speak. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, they are increasing the building from the current 44,000 square feet, which to has 60. a to 60. And there is a system now, ex acceptable system for the existing 44,000. Mm -hmm. Workers Credit Union, as we said last time, and maybe Bob, you guys can give us some some numbers. They are proposing to develop this as their new headquarters. They will be moving their headquarters from Fitchburg to here. But they are not anticipating a need for the full 60,000 square foot building day one. Okay. In fact, there's probably a four to five year window before we would fully occupy a 60,000 square foot building. So that's good news, right? Because now we have things. So, and is there a specific number, Bob? You guys know what might come initially, like in the first wave? We're, we're looking at 65 to 70. 65, 70 people, right? Right. So, um, therefore, we could conceivably renovate the building, mm -hmm. occupy not more than 44,000 square feet. Thus, renovate the existing building. Right. Mm -hmm. Build or the whole 60,000, oh, okay. but, but only use occupy quality. less than 44,000. You can do that. In fact, our, I, uh, as I understand it, the plan is that this additional space, this 16,000 odd square feet, would actually just be constructed and left unfinished. Mm -hmm. You know, it wouldn't have finished walls, wouldn't have heat. heat it, it, you know, probably have, you know, fire safety stuff, but we wouldn't occupy it. We wouldn't seek an occupancy permit for that area for some time. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we could conceivably renovate the building, occupy not more than 44,000, and that would allow us to utilize the existing system until such time as the sewer is available. Then we could hook the sewer in and then be able to bring <coughs> people in as, as, as we can, it, all right? So that sounds like a great solution. However, I'm, I'm sure you can appreciate it. Before these guys 
finance, you know, millions and millions of dollars in renovation costs and building of this building, they have to have some assurances that at some point, you know, this four to five year window, they're going to be able to occupy the, old thing. the, the whole building. And, and while I, I, I don't like to be pessimistic ever, you know, they have to be protected in the event something happens and the sewer doesn't come online. Therefore, what we've proposed and what we'd like to talk about tonight is the possibility of the board considering granting us a variance from Regulation 10 so that we could, you know, if four years from now, three years from now, the septic system, I mean, the sewer is not available and we need to occupy the building, we could construct the new system pursuant to the variance and occupy the building. So we, we wanted to talk about whether you would consider granting the variance so that workers has the assurances that one way or another down the road they would have the ability to occupy their building fully. So how big is the system? With the understanding is that our true goal would right. be to. But how big is the system that you have right now? So the system right now services the 44,000 square feet. It's rated for 3,225 gallons per day and past Title V. Okay. And also, it will be only available for the rest of the crew to come when the sewage treatment will be ready. I well, understand that my friend, he, he, he left the hand. I give you two minutes. <laughs> I never limit you, Mr. Chair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I do kind of. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Board Just because I love you, two minutes. <laughs> uh, Paul Blavy from the selectmen and also selectmen designated the sewer project. You folks well know because you've been supportive uh, that we're at the point in the process where we have received approval on the design money and we're in the active design process. But it's, you know, we're early enough in that that we're not even sure what phase we'll be bringing to a vote in the spring. There's a lot of complicated moving pieces and, you know, it's far be it for us to say what the town's ultimately going to say. We're very hopeful, we're bullish on it. We take, um, you know, some positives out of the vote we got in November. And I'm also very uh, enthusiastic about uh, uh, Workers Credit Union coming to town, and we've uh, uh, been very happy uh, that they've embraced the town, um, town government, town business community since they've uh, been on the scene. And, uh, and they've also managed to do what uh, nobody seems to have done over the past 40 years and take a lot that uh, what you'd think would be uh, perfect for uh, development sitting right next to the highway and not bothering anybody. And, uh, <laughs> Nobody's been able to see, been able to do anything with it. Largely, I think, because of its uh, the soils. But uh, that's that's the problem that they're trying to tackle. Um, we have had discussions, uh, you know, obviously of fairly recent vintage because they've only encountered some of these problems within mm -hmm. the past few months. But uh, and, and we're we're uh, committed to working with them. But everybody, you know, on our side, and they, and they understand this. Um, you have to be honest. That, you know, all we can do is work toward a goal that. Uh, you know, may happen if we get the project through as we expect. Um, that being said, as a caveat, there are a lot of uh, great possibilities if, uh, if we do indeed um, are, are able to uh, look to them as a future partner in the sewer project because it would take uh, that part of the, uh, mm -hmm. the 495, the uh, other side of 495 from where our primary focus has been the common area, and make that a lot more uh, uh, possible to develop quicker uh, in, in terms of incorporating it into the greater sewer project. That in combination with a uh, mm -hmm. nearby but unrelated possibilities at the point, right. make a lot of activity on that side of the highway uh, a lot more, and it, frankly it could happen quicker than what, uh, you know, what, what uh, we forecast in the common area, uh, allowing us through flow, through um, you know, through uh, the sewer uh, fees, to actually help finance the rest of the project. So we're we're very uh, uh, bullish on uh, Workers uh, Credit Union uh, project, and we want to work with them. And we wish that we could give them something more concrete, but we uh, we hope that you guys, uh, in working with them, can come up with a solution in the short term that may lead to a, a long term. Uh, participation in the sewer project. That's beautiful. You are very lucky to have a gentleman minutes, like Mr. that. Chairman? <laughs> you are very lucky to have a gentleman like that. You spoke very well and he knows what he's talking about and I appreciate his, uh, his presence. 
and also the administrators there. The question is, I tell you what. Well, I have one qu one point. Okay, I want to make, go ahead. Then I and then I'm then done. I, I promise. Then I give you then zero I minutes. Promise. I want to. I want to. I wouldn't ask the board to consider a variance without being able to tell you that in this particular instance you could consider the variance um, in light of the purpose and intent of the regulation, which, as I understand it, one of the key purposes and intent behind Regulation 10 is protection of water. Sources aquifer, yeah. and the, your aquifers, yeah. but uh, your you know your well systems and your town water system. So we have met with and discussed the uh, requested variance with your water department. Um, Brian has spoken with um, Kevin, um, and in, you'll see in my memo that. They, the, the water department's position on the variance is that they are supportive of it, provided we give them two downstream monitoring wells mm -hmm. and one upstream water monitoring well, as well, because they feel that, you know, given the distances and what we're proposing, and I think also in light of the fact that this, you know, actually may never be exercised, really, mm -hmm. um, that they were supportive of it. So I think we can show that we would be meeting the purpose and intent of your Regulation 10 by protecting your water sources through this sort of story I've told in our planned uh, efforts. So I, I, that was my last point, Mr. Chairman, is that we have worked with the Water Department to, to make sure that they were supportive of the variance. Okay, here's the catch. There's no catch. Okay. Can I make a comment before you read that? Pardon me? Can I make a comment before you read that? Go ahead. Two I, minutes. I love how you guys are creatively thinking out of the box, how we're thinking about flipping things and using this and not using that. Paul, I had a couple of questions. Is there any way that we can flip the sewer, the sewerage, and do this end, this end, this phase, like treat the business on 119 before we get to the common? Would there be a benef benefit to getting resident um, business versus residents getting tied in first? And then um, is the second thing, is there a way that we can use um, workers credit as to support the system to, to bring it to a town meeting in the fall and use them and their support of the system to get it moving along and helping it get it passed? Uh, first, uh, second question first, well, I think we've already counted uh, based on the early uh, positive response from workers credit union. They were, they were in our, our uh, list of supportive potential properties. Okay. Anyway, uh, the urgency of their need is what's new. Mm -hmm. um, to, your, to your first question, uh, a lot is possible, and if they are in a position to come on board sooner rather than later, and so is, say, the point, there's a lot of moving factors. This project alone isn't going to drive moving the schedule um, from what it has been, and effectively, I think, the, the immediate common area, uh, you know, absent all these individual factors was what, 1A, and then the other side of the highway was 1B, and then right. was that little bit. Okay, well that could well change if we uh, if we pick up these pieces. I mean, there's you know there's all sorts of possibilities going right down Russell Street to connect to the existing sewer line that the town has yep. on King Street. There is a crossing of the highway there, but there was going to be a crossing of the highway in the other direction too. Yep. The um, you know I, I hate to speak out of turn with the point, but if if they're involved, they have a operational sewer already or a treatment plan already which um, you know potentially could get online quicker than uh, the facility we're going to build you know we propose mm -hmm. to build the with the uh, the quirk um, so you know I'm, I'm the last guy to, to speak with authority on the engineering issue but I do know this much that them being in the game prospectively earlier uh, makes a lot more things possible okay including that yeah. thank you uh, remember that when I come to your meeting that I'm going to interrupt you too. <laughs> okay. But nothing lost there, Mr. Chairman. You do it already. <laughs> May I uh, tell you one thing? Okay. Uh, I, sp I speak for myself. <coughs> I don't make the decision. First of all, because you're here, I understand what you're saying. Okay. You, you want to occupy the 46,000 square feet. Am I correct? Yes. Okay. If you do, okay, you have to give, give us the guarantee in writing and give it to administrator, and also because the selectmen and administrators over there, you promise that you will connect on a sewage treatment when the thing comes in place. If it doesn't come in place, there is another catch, okay? 
Okay, I'll give you the other catch. If you want to occupy the 60,000 square feet. Okay, this is what I'm going to read to you, okay? It was, I asked my agent, it says, you know, we got to do something to help these people. So uh, he says, what do you want? So I, I told him what I want, and he wrote it down for me. And I came up and picked him up. I had a, a lunch arrangement, and I skipped it because I had to pick up this piece of paper. Okay, it says, when considering the variance request for this project, you could ask the applicant to provide treatment for the sewage from the building. Now, if uh, there is something happened, because the first phase, it was blocked, and they went to second phase on the smaller sewage treatment for the town, okay? Because one was too expensive, and because one, like myself, spoke to it, and I get, every time they see me, they, they say, this guy is gonna drive us crazy. But the question, I'm only trying to help the town. So the question is, give us a promise in writing that you will connect it to the sewage treatment when it's connected, and also in front of the selectman and administrator. Second, if uh, that will not be possible for whatever reason, you guarantee us if you want the 60,000 square feet to be all occupied because you're going to have more than 100 people, you will, ha you will give you a chance that you put a system there what they call it, a, a provide treatment for the sewage from the building. So you have to provide a, what they call a small sewage treatment in the building itself, like we have in, in different areas. In nitrogen the reduction. Yeah. 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 Okay. Enhance. That's the only way you get the variance from this board. Because not because we don't love you or, or like you, it's because we want it to be fair, not only to you people, but to the town itself. And I've been here for a long time, and uh, everybody hates me. But nevertheless, I love everybody. So we want to do everything right. Even my friend there, when he sees me, he goes like this. The administrator is the only one that is open mind. He says, Gino, you do the right thing. I want to make sure that this board is guaranteed in paper. And if you need a notary, I'm a notary. All right? Yeah. OK. You get the variance if you gave me those conditions. If for some reason that, that, that doesn't happen because it, it's up to the town now, okay. not because of the selectmen or the Board of Health, because I support the sewage. As the question is, how are we going to pay for it? So we, we need clients like you, OK? You guarantee us. And if it doesn't happen, you have to provide your own building with a small sewage treatment. That's going to cost you if you want to occupy the other 60000 OK? That's what Dave has been reviewing for us. Oh, may I just? Go ahead. I'll give you three minutes. If I understand correctly, what, what you're articulating is that um, you want a, a written agreement that Workers Credit Union would tie into the sewer, sewer right. when it comes. And it, it, between now and then, could utilize the existing septic on site, right. provided the occupancy doesn't exceed right. the septic capacity. The current yeah. rating. I'd like yeah. to add one thing before it, when you say provide, make sure they have a T or a pipe that comes to your area. Because sometimes I work on building, like, like, I work on sewage, they forgot to put the T on there. Okay, make sure they get a T on it so you get connected with no problem. Okay. And um, and so the existing system, the existing 44,000 square feet, well, 44,000 square feet could be occupied. And at such time as workers requires the 60,000 square feet, if the sewer, sewer is not in the road at that point, they could proceed with the 60,000 square feet of occupancy provided they provide a advanced nitrogen treatment plant on site. Right, then you have no problem. And let me ask you a question, is that, is that plant something that requires additional approvals of the board? No. There's no variance? When you guarantee or us and we have a document, also it's got to be signed by the, an attorney and a, a notary to be legal, okay? If you can't find a notary, you call me, I'll do it for nothing. My that's friend is so that, that's that's the No, no, I'm not. I just, I just wanted to ask. This this yes. I appreciate your um, your leadership panel to the chairman, but this is an important topic. I wonder if the other board members. Uh, oh, the board member too. They, I'll let them talk. Okay. The board member, as long as they guarantee us that we're going to have everything done right. Now, you want to have a minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes? You, four minutes. <laughs> Go ahead. I um, personally am not um, in favor of the credit the credit land. I 
I like the idea of a treatment tank also. So, have we tabled? Did you have we tabled well, the credit land? Yeah, or? we're not proposing for no the more credit for land. The, well, we are prepared to discuss that if this idea of granting a variance under certain conditions, with the idea that our goal would be to to hook into sewer, if that was an unacceptable solution for the board, we were prepared to present why we could then put together a nitrogen um, enhanced, enhanced system and or uh, a nitrogen aggregation plan utilizing credit. Like I said, guys, we have to solve this problem, so we have researched every different avenue, including this credit land thing, which has been a ton of work. But our you know, our preferred methodology after having some very good conversations with the town was maybe this is the best solution now. And, and, and I, I, I obviously will get verification from my clients, but I believe the, uh, the, the conditions suggested by the chairman, you know, make sense to us because it is fully our intention to hook into the sewer. Um, and, but if that doesn't happen because the town encounters problems, you know, reasons beyond our control, then the idea of utilizing a, requiring us to utilize a nitrogen reduction system before we occupy that remaining balance, which essentially entailed building a new system. You know, we'd take out the, the, the system that's there, put in a new, entirely new system with the nitrogen enhancement. That is also an option we've investigated and I think, was Dave here with us at the last meeting? We had our, the engineer that was looking into and designing for us a potential nitrogen reduction system if that was the, the final option. So back to your comment, yes, we've sort of taken the idea of the nitrogen, all of that, I mean, excuse me, the credit land off the table, <coughs> hoping that we could go down this route. But, we are, we are prepared to discuss nitrogen on uh, credit <laughs> if you'd like to. No, I don't want to. Okay, then that's fine. We're, we're in agreement on that one. <laughs> Did you want to ask guys some questions? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think if you put together a um, nitrogen aggregation plan that's acceptable to our agent uh, along DEP guidelines, uh, no problem with you occupying the existing square footage, utilizing the existing system until what, which time the town is ready to have a sewer system for you to connect into. Okay. Um, as long as it's acceptable on the DEP guidelines, I don't see that being an issue. Okay. Right. That's relating to the two parts in there. George, right. has, yeah. Yeah. No? George has a question, but no. I have some comments. George, I'm sorry. Go ahead, George. Yeah. It's Chip. George Sand is 682 Great Road. Um, are we asking them to uh, put a plan in place now to cover down the road? for the extra 16,000 square feet that's going to be unoccupied until such time if the town treatment system doesn't come on board. Are you saying that you want them to present a plan as to what they would do at that time to go into full operation Correct. Uh, of that? that? That makes sense to me, okay, that uh, they do that. Uh, I think that uh, even though, you know, if there's provision for the credit land uh, uh, to do it, you know, it's like anything else, if uh, the law is on the books for you to use it, you know, sometimes people may not like it, but, you know, it's a legal way of doing it, uh, they, they could use that. But I would say that uh, the long benefits would be to them to put in a system if the town does not get in place for this system, overall, in the long run, it will be more beneficial for them mm -hmm. to have the system in place. And as you well know, uh, under the Clean Water Act, right, right. we have well water here. Mm -hmm. So we certainly have to protect uh, right. our ground source of water here okay. in the town of Lilton. Correct. And that is one of the things that the government says that uh, you're going to clean up all groundwater. So it's just a matter of time. Right. There are going to be treatment plants put in all the rinky-dinky towns right. uh, to control all this contamination that going into the water system here. Thank you. So, so 
I would appreciate as a citizen here that uh, we get some concrete in writing uh, from Worker Credit Union, mm -hmm. which they are very responsible mm -hmm. cooperation in the state, in this great commonwealth here, and they have over the years expanded to where they are today right. in the various communities and they've done a good job in complying with the local community as to what they ask. Just like I sit here and hear them talk about what they would like to try to do to make this thing easy because every day delay is costing them money. And I'm going to wrap up in just a moment here. Uh, and I would like to see that we get something in concrete they agree to what we're saying that they do before they do the full occupation, mm -hmm. uh, occupying of that building with the extra that's going to be renovated there. And if they don't get the system in, then they would have to at that time, which I think would be reasonable, mm -hmm. for them to say to the town, okay, we're going to put this system in mm -hmm. to take care of it and not cause a problem to mm -hmm. the groundwater. Thank you, thank you, George. Jo uh, to reflect uh, to your comment, George, uh, the question is, is it by experience when the engineer have everything ready and the town will say, okay, we do it, the state will give us some, some money? It takes between two or three years to get the system half done. So if uh, that system is half done by then, they have enough time because they predict five years before they're going to be able to fulfill. Uh, and they have time. That's why I like to have, not because we don't trust them, it's because when I go to the bank, they want to know my social security number, my signature, make sure that, that I pay, even if they gave me low interest. They want to know if I'm going to really <coughs> make a commitment. I want the same thing from them because they, I don't I underestimate it, they're not honest. I want something here so the town will say, you know, the Board of Health, they're doing a good job because we are trying to help the town and we also like to have business. That's why I said, let's have something writing with the attorney, have a notarizer, and if something doesn't happen between the town, I hope the town is willing, and I hope the engineers and the con construction individual are able to fulfill that before they, they fulfill the full building. So they have something already done. If they don't, they can provide their own, because they want to fill the building. You understand, George? Thank you so hey, much. Hey, I understand clearly, Mr. Chairman, uh, I think that, uh, not speaking for workers, but I think that uh, you give them an offer here, they can't refuse. Yes. Well, give them the variance after that is done. And uh, the variance will be given to you uh, in one second when we have everything to the administrator and we have a consent from the attorney and uh, for our, our administrator and the, and the selectman, which is well known in Littleton. And he, he think, I think he likes me, but anyway, he, he, he understand what I'm, we're doing here for the town. Mm -hmm. We wanted to provide assistance. I, I'd certainly um, like to hear Ms. Flanagan's yeah. comments, and then if I could just have a minute after sure. out with my clients. I think, Brian, the question is for you as an engineer. Why didn't we discuss a nitrogen um, reduction system before we started well, talking about um, credit land? The, the, last, the last hearing that we were at, we actually brought Dave Fumato from, from on-site engineering. He's our wastewater consultant that would be designing that treatment system. So based on kind of the avenues that we felt were the most approachable and uh, the most economically viable, the ones that made the most sense to this project, it started with uh, credit land because we could meet the requirements of, of Regulation 10 um, with land, which is essentially what it is. So if we were to begin to d discuss treatment, now we're into the variance. Now we're creating an equivalency of discharge that meets the intent of that Regulation 10. So now that we're, we're talking about sewer and a variance for it to begin with, Okay. It, it makes sense okay. to, to dive into the, the, um, the treatment a little bit more. Okay. Thank and you. another question I have, because you guys are guaranteed, well, you guys are promising to hook up to sewer, maybe. Um, I wonder, and, I, and it's throwing a monkey wrench, and I don't know if I'm even supposed to be saying this, but what happens to that, you know, what if we fail um, to meet your demands when it comes time? For you to expand. Well, I think that's what the chairman done. saying. Yeah. Then, yeah. then we would have to. We would agree. Okay. So and those two obligations, 
and, and again, I just need to consult with my client outside before I start making <coughs> obligations. But as you, I know you understand, those two obligations would essentially be conditions of the permit. Mm -hmm. So that if workers fail to satisfy, A, the sewer's ready, guys, you got to hook in if you want to occupy a building, and they didn't, we would be in violation of our variance, and you would have the right to. Well, now you know. I it's think I mean if we're not ready to come to us. Right. 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 Excuse right. me, one second. Yeah. Uh, just one one yeah, authority that might help too is while the sewer hookup right. itself right. for functional purposes maybe right. and not until 2020 will will probably have um, the um, potentially the contracts for for uh, people to hook up. To, to sign available sometime within less than six months, I would mm -hmm. say, probably before this town meeting. Because right now, that's part of what the engineers are working on right now is we need to know sooner rather than later by signing contracts who's in, who's not. So even though the system may not be up and running for you know a couple of years um, or a year and a half anyway, we'll uh, be in a position right. for these folks to you know to, to put their signature on the, right. on the contract they, sooner they, rather than later. And they know it's only twenty five million to connect, right? Is that? <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and just one other question, I guess. But what would what will we do if their system fails before they're ready to? I mean, it passed. No. Oh yeah, we right. just had it. It's past Title Five, but what if before um, sewer hooks is okay. ready to hook up? Very simple. Their system fails. But <laughs> system, but system, but sewer is in inevitably coming. Excuse me. Do we? Well, I'm not done yet. Yeah, but okay. we've, if they fail, and okay. sewer is coming, but there's a short little time in between between the time it fails and the time they're ready to hook up, what is our going to be our responsibility, or what should we be thinking about? Okay. Do you know what I mean? Hey, that's a good question. Are, are the there question any, are there annual inspections uh, or anything like yeah. that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I've been doing this for many years. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. Now you say this system is being look at it and it's fine. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. What you do when you employ all your 60 people, whatever, for the moment, right? What you got to do is have it clean every six months. That way it will not fail. Okay? Will not fail. So frequent, like that's, frequent that's inspections. Earth, that's earthquake. And the second, let's say for instance the town is not able to connect you right away and you have no choice to want to occupy, you use your, your system, you put your system. When you have your system and you want to get connected, because they have a T there, you connect it because you can always use for emergency your system. Mm -hmm. So you never fail. You understand? Mm -hmm. So you, you be in advantage because you have two systems. Uh, everybody else, they, they have to depend on the system they have, only one system. So don't worry about that. The, the tank will not fail if you take care of it. Okay? I've been taking care of mine for 50 years and never, never fail. Okay. As long as you take care of it, that is your answer. You have a system, you <laughs> clean it every six months or every that year. Wasn't my aunt, my, that wasn't my question. Oh, but. Yes, yes. Well, um, we, I mean, I, I guess I'm encouraged too by what I'm hearing in terms of the fact that, you know, in, in this, this year, they'll actually be signing people up so workers would be able to further uh, solidify its commitment to your board um, in a short term time. When, at best, um, if we were able to start next week, which we could potentially do, when would you actually be beginning occupation of the building? I mean, the construction is going to take 14, 12, 14, 14, 14 months. 14 months. Mm -hmm. So, so we're not even talking years. about moving the 60 people in until now that we you know March of 2020. Right. You're not going to be too far off from our optimistic schedule for construction. So we may have to use the current system mm -hmm. and with, and within capacity because we're only going to occupy part of the building for really potentially less than a year. Right. Mr. Okay. Chair, may I make a motion? Go ahead. I'd like to make a motion to grant the variance to Regulation 10 subject to the applicant occupying 40,000 square feet. 44? 44,000 44, square feet initially and then connecting to town sewer if and when it's installed and providing an acceptable nitrogen aggregation plan to utilize should town sewer not be installed. Finally, implementing a maintenance plan so the existing system is not <coughs> compromised in the meantime. Yes. The, 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 the motion should go with condition that the attorney present a document to our administrator. He didn't say that. And to have the attorney for the applicant 
present a signed document to our administrator between the applicant and, and the town. Could we have to talk about this? Right? Can we have one minute? Yeah. You can have 10 minutes. Uh, okay. We're After sorry. 10 minutes, we close the door. Can <laughs> <laughs> you lock us in? <laughs> you? you George wants to talk to you. George? George. George, Mr. Chairman, George Sanders, 672 yes. Great Road. In that motion, shouldn't you say uh, uh, that there's no occupation of the 14,000 square feet with people? I mean, they could use that to say storage up there, couldn't they? Oh, yeah. There's, there's, as long as there's no people. But they won't be using the. No, no yeah, people. Yeah, I'm saying, but you. You want to clarify that it's storage versus yeah, people. That, yeah. That, that, yeah, that's true. If they know people, yeah. right. you know, of that, then that means that if they got stuff to store, they could store it up there. It, it's it, uh, George. So they, they won't have a certificate it, of occupancy. It makes sense. Either. If they're going to occupy all those people, if they wanted to do without, that septic system not only going to fail, it's going to. No, no, I'm not talking about that. We're talking about the 44. Yeah. The addition oh, space. We're talking about the condition yeah, yeah. that they're going to renovate it to 60 and yeah. leave it unoccupied. Right. And to be unoccupied right. with they people. know that. They already know but that. They yeah. Put storage. You know, there, you know there's yeah. probably, I, I don't know the, the finer points of it, but there might be some gallon per day requirement for a storage area as well. So I don't want to get into that uh, unless you speak to Jim. Wait a minute. Come on, man. The, I don't know. The, the, Title five is. Yeah. We have regulation, George. The question the, is, the, yeah, but I we give him a new way. Listen, listen, now. I'm smarter than a rock. If, if, there's, if, if, if there's no water coming from the containers you're putting up there, how are you going to put that in the system? There may not be a water health issue with it, but the building commissioner might have other ranks that right. to apply. Right. And, and the DEP too might get involved. So it's okay what you say, Joe. We they that understand. Nothing to do with storage, though. Yeah. They, well, but it's got nothing to do with water health necessarily. We, yeah. But yeah. we don't know. Someone else might have a regulation. I, I just want to speak out of turn. You know, uh, occupancy, even for storage, you know, has to go through some sort of process. If somebody has to be moving stuff there. You never know yeah. if it might be so 10 or 20. I don't 10 know the answer. Well, if you give, if, if, you know, I'll play the devil's advocate. Right. If, you, if you're saying you're going to allow them to construct it to the 60,000 they want. But they haven't mentioned anything like that, George. So they want to just build it and wait. Because I, I would bet there's an easy way to accommodate that, but this probably isn't the place to do it. Right. But so my only point was I was just saying that no peep up there for that 14,000 that you're talking about. Yeah, they, they know that. Because if it, we got everything in writing, George, and, and they, we have- what Yeah, but it's, it's, it's not a matter that where you said earlier where you don't believe in that. I'm just saying that if you got it in writing, you don't have to believe it. It's there in writing. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not saying because that I, they would do something other than what they said they'd do. You know, it works both ways. It's just my opinion. Yeah, you know? that's okay, George. That's okay. I appreciate your thoughts. But uh, thank you, uh, Baker. Yeah. You made the you made the motion. So did uh, anybody second it? Yeah. No. We're talking about it. Talking. Oh right. Okay. When you're done, can I have that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can get all that. <sighs> it's like somebody. Had, um, I was so busy today. You know, uh, first time in six months that I was able to sleep seven hours because I went to the hospital to the doctor. First time. Yeah. Yeah. Is Pam down in Arizona? Or she yeah. she's, she's over there. Yeah. Yeah. I was there for a week, and uh, the day before it started raining, still at the, everybody come out and be happy. They said, Gino, that's your fault. So why? You come from the north. You brought the rain. You brought the rain here today, too. Yeah, well, be careful. It's slippery up there. Yeah. I'll, I'll be careful. Yeah, town highway I, department's been outstanding. At the end of Shaker Lane, there was a little pile of sand. Was, <laughs> and tell you the it was truth. icy when we were coming yeah. in. Tell you the truth. You know what? I could have stayed another five days. I came for this particular meeting. You're dedicated to you, though. No, because it was very important. Yeah. He's worried about a quorum, or? It's not the quorum, honey. No, not you. Not the quorum, is it's the, quorum? It's the, the presentation. Mm -hmm. I mean, the I speak lawyer. several languages. No, Sometimes they don't understand it. The owner <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> earlier, you, oh, yeah. you wanted to make sure we had a quorum. <clears throat> yeah. 
if you watch the TV, watch the TV and you say, geez, what if Iphigenia wasn't there and Georgia wasn't there? I'm trying to help these people. It'd be pretty boring. Are we, I know I'm boring. <laughs> I know I'm boring. I gave you four no, minutes. No, it would be. Like, it would be boring. Oh, we've been boring. Oh, if thank you. If you weren't Lord. here. Uh, oh. If you check only when you're making those motions, and Anthony would just bring my attention, say, do something subject to review by town council on the, on the agreement or... Well, they have an attorney you know, already. You're, you're welcome well, to... Our, to, to our attorney. Oh, okay. We yeah. probably should on this one. Yeah. 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 I, I think subject so. to approval of town council. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's a good idea. Thank you. It's, it's good. It's good to have you both here. And I was under two minutes. Not even. So I gave, I I gave you five minutes. Oh, thank you. Next time. Okay. He must like you. No. A month ago, Paul, I suggested them tying in, and they said they were going to. It was wasn't going to be. In, there wasn't going to be enough time. And they won't well, there's not enough time. Anymore. What can we say? We we only we met with them about a month ago. Yeah. Maybe it was right after you guys talked. Oh, to yeah. I don't know. Uh, yeah, my idea. Yeah. All right. We'll, we'll give you. We'll give you credit. credit. We'll give you credit. You'll be you'll be in the footnote. You get okay. the first flush. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. You can that, cut that. That should be a fundraiser. The first flush. Yeah, you're right. I put yeah. about thirty years into this project. I I get it on. Okay. On, on all right. I remember. I, I remember. Do I remember? Sure, I didn't read all that stuff. All right, so well, you want to table it to the next I was at the meeting. We can table it. Can we table it? Yeah. Yeah. You were little. Yeah, then you were little. Someone make a motion. It wasn't in my 20s. I was 25. I make a motion to. You were? No kidding. I make a motion to table the tobacco regulations to next meeting. Second. Aye. Aye. Okay. Well, this was important. Oh, exactly. Could have spent time on this one. It's working on that. Thank you, George, for coming. But there were another one, so. Is there anything else you wanted to talk about, George? Uh -huh. Is there anything else you wanted to talk about? I gave you five minutes, George. No, I, I, just, I just think that, uh, you know, the health board is a very important board, like any other board in town. And your interest is uh, to better half of the town and the citizens. And, uh, you know, we thank you for, at least I do, thank you for your time and effort in trying to do the very best job possible because you're in a, 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 a department that's environmentalist that's been changed left and right. I mean, they want to do things at the Fed. They want to loosen up this, loosen up that. And, uh, here we are trying to do the same the best that we can based on the technology that we have. And water is one of the things that uh, you just can't look the other way with. Yeah, especially when Concord is trying, especially when Concord wants our water. Yeah, right. Yeah. They got our lake. They got our lake. They use our lake. They got 100 years. But eventually, you know, on the Clean Water Act, club, small towns like Littleton and others, they're going to be putting in treatment plants. No, I haven't had sugar in a week. I hope not. It's just a matter of time. I know. We will be around. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm not going to be around. <laughs> Why? Because oh, I do too much. Thank you. That's a challenge. But the pump down is the, is the, is the greatest yeah, thing. If you do like those commercials tell you, you put a little bit of solution in there to dissolve in there and you keep your tank pumped up, you know, those tanks will survive. It's like maintenance with anything else. If you take care of it, it will work for you. You know, if you don't take care of it, you know, I buy paper towels to wipe out my plates. Yeah. And, uh, two things and stuff we wash it's got grease in it. Yeah. So you don't clog up the pipe towel with that. Yeah. Just for that. Yeah. 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 So I don't That's wash thing. anything grease yeah. down my sink. Yeah. 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 And those people that put in the uh, disposal, yeah. Yeah. it's the worst thing that, that, that you could ever do. Yeah. 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 So what is IA? It just clogs up the lines. Yeah, correct. Because you can never send enough water down to wash it. I know. All the way out. They yeah. build on. So how many, do you know how many conferences they have? A lot of people don't realize. They think, oh, well, that's a quick take that fat and throw it in there. Yeah, well, you'll pay for it sooner or later. I think, I think, any, I think the people that make septic systems should 
do some education. Maybe they'll go online and check their calendar. Not us, but I think the It's during the week of education. Well, there was a system in town that failed. It was tested, and they found baby wipes and diapers and stuff. Oh, the Village Green wastewater treatment. I think there really needs to be a lot more education. Swiffer pads. Swiffer pads. The, my, my people need to know what they can't like. He said that he has, what they he has what they taken a shovel and dug to the grease to get to the soil as much as 12 inches. Yeah, it really needs to what, be What, at a restaurant? No, no. Somebody's house. At somebody's house, yeah. I guess they had to make a bump and, you know, some people put grease down the system. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. it's of it. Yeah. And that stuff this you know what grease does the water. Huh? And it, what it does the pipes. <laughs> I had a farm building and I and I know about it, the grease. What they do to you? Yeah. You need the roller ruler. I had it and it's solid just like oh that in the line. Do you need my do you need, really need our well, employer I'm sure he on this uh, application? It's uh, the town of Littleton. No, it's just town of Littleton. Oh, okay. This is all for some more tobacco. Well, this training is on Tuesday, January 22nd. Tuesday? Yeah. That's where we have a meeting that, what, what time? 9.30 in the morning. The Westford thing? Yeah. I'll read it now. Got a complimentary lunch? It doesn't say where, though. They gave it to the candy. Uh, looks like they left, so why don't we just can this whole thing? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Doug. <laughs> I give them five minutes. Yeah, well they, you know, they're lawyers. I mean, you can give them a lawyer five minutes. <laughs> He's charging them. Got to get his money's worth. Yeah. Oh, thank you for coming. Both of you, thank you. I wouldn't miss it. Thank you for yeah. doing what you do. Well. Okay. All right, you'll have a quorum. Can I go? Yes, you will. Run your mind. That's your mind, huh? That money? Money's money. Anybody here, Uncle? We've got to see the president what he's going to say tonight. What time is that? I was born in the restaurant. I was rough to nothing last night. National emergency. Right, he's coming up. It's going to be nice to know what he's going to say here. The closer they get to Russia, the more of an emergency it becomes. They call up Sarah Sanders there. She said that was. Uh, she related? Huh? Is she oh, related? No, no, no way. <laughs> Thank you for the time. I was ready to close the doors. Oh, you <laughs> we're we're going to close it on you. But on, <laughs> no, um, if, if I can just just for a couple seconds. Go ahead. Because I'm, I'm, I'm not a lawyer. State can your I, name. Uh, Doug Peterson. Can I have three minutes? I gave you five minutes. Give five minutes. No, I don't need five minutes. <laughs> um, First of all, I want to thank you for listening to us, first of all. And I want to thank, you know, we're, we you know, want to come into the and be a part of the community. We want to work with everyone to do what's best for the community, do what's best for the environment, do what's best for our members and everything else. So that's, that's what we want to do today, okay? And thank you for everybody for listening to us. Thank you for working with us. We appreciate it. We, we thank the town and everybody else. We're 100% we're on board with what we're talking about. And, you know, Doug's going to talk through and how we can get from where we are now to get to, you know, the whole deal done. But it sounds like we're on the same bus, so we're very, very happy about that. So now I'll turn over to Doug to handle the tough work. <laughs> Thanks, Doug. Oh. Um, oh, I get to use his three minutes that he didn't use for us. <laughs> now you've got to stay your name. <laughs> Douglas DeShane, uh, attorney for Workers Party Union. Um, I guess, uh, you know, we, we're in agreement with what we just discussed, but we want to understand and want to be open with you about the details of that commitment. Mm -hmm. We would like the letters and our commitment, written commitment to you that you've requested, notarized and all that. But we, I'm, I'm going to have to make sure that it's clear that if at any point we need to occupy, whenever we get to the point where we need to seek an occupancy permit for 
um, the additional space, mm -hmm. if the sewer is not available mm -hmm. at that time, we would have the right to come in and propose the nitrogen aggregation system program well, that, that you're putting on us. You're right? going to propose that and get it approved prior right. to... Right. Oh, of course, we would have to. We wouldn't get occupancy until you guys signed off. Right. But I guess the distinction there is that we have the right to go to that system, right. not only if the town, and I, I'm sorry, Bob, I don't mean to use the term, but if the town fails to get this program up, but also if it doesn't come up in a timely manner. Now, as I said, right now we're thinking it's going to be a, a number of years before we'll need to occupy. Mm -hmm. But as, as my clients pointed out to me, in the business world, mm -hmm. if things are successful and the move here is, you know, great and things are happening fast, we may find ourselves in a position where, you know, the, the sewer is not available yet. We want to know that we have the option of putting in that system in order to get our occupancy It'd permit. be a good idea if so, you get an engineer now, that way you have an idea. Well, we, we do, yeah. Mr. Chairman. Okay. We've actually, and D Mr. Yeah. David, what's his last name? Dave Fermano. Dave Fermano, who was here last week, has actually been working on good. the design of a system that would accomplish right. in the event. Right. 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 So I guess all we're saying is I just want to be right. clear and honest and in our letters that I will draft for your review, I, I'm going to make it clear that not only if the system, the septic sewer doesn't, doesn't happen, mm -hmm. but if it's not available at the time we're ready to mm -hmm. we'll seek further occupancy, we want to be able to know that we could put in that system you to would, satisfy well, you your would, requirements. You would be able to put that system in, but I think if we're, if we're close, you know, for six months, if we're a year away, it might make sense to do more temporary fix, like more frequent pumpings, something like that. Yeah. So, you don't, so you don't go ahead and spend that money no. when... Mr. Glavy. Yeah, just going to add that the contract that we're envisioning, while we haven't worked out the details in there, you know, largely the, the variables that uh, need to be um, finalized, the financial ones, there's going to be performance requirements on either side. We're not expecting anybody to sign up to a, you know, an open-ended uh, check, too. So at some point in the very you know, near future, before the system's built, when we're in the process of designing it, mm -hmm will have these contracts right. in place we're looking for people to sign. So the folks from Workers Credit Union are, you know, are going to have something to wave and say the town of Littleton says it'll be right. functional by X date, otherwise we're no longer you know, obligated to it. And that would be true of anybody signing up, not just them. So I, I, you know, that, that could help feed your notion that once you sign up, uh, Doug, that you know, it's not going to be uh, open-ended. You know, you, you're going to have the uh, constraints of that contract. Yeah, and, yeah and of course, that's you, you, you raise an interesting uh, point, Mr. Baker, in, in when you said, sure, you'll agree to sign up for the SEP sewer and we'll get the letter, and then, you know, in two years, it'll be $25 million, workers, you don't have a choice. I know that was in, in kidding, and I know that my clients have actually talked and have a ballpark understanding of what the cost might be. Yeah, I think the engineers have actually had a conversation with you, right? That, uh, you know, the, those, again, are ballpark at this point. You, but you can appreciate the fact that in committing to you guys that we will tie into sewer if it's available when we need it or when, it, you know, when it's available and we need to occupy our building, we do need that sort of, um, what, what term do you use? Uh, uh, that. We, we need to know that if something goes wrong mm -hmm. on the sewer side, you have things, enough time to have, that we can right. then propose that alternative system yeah. to you. Yeah. Well, hey, what, once again, long before the system is constructed, long before you guys are ready with your construction, we will at least have the contractual stuff in place so that you can make your decision then. If you take a look at it and say you don't agree to it, well, then you're back before these guys. Right. You know, okay. So only uh, only time you have to do is make a commitment to the town that you, uh, you know, be in, 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 what would you call it, you're going to connect it if the time is right. If it doesn't and you have already something else already connected, then you can discharge. They will not say anything. The question is, you might maybe consider the number two. Say, I got my system working. Well, I'm going to get connected. Let's not lose sight of the fact that yeah. I think you're being asked to detain variances on the strength of their commitment to participate. So I don't right. think it's as open-ended as, you know, uh, as I heard the presentation, 
we'll give the variance, and then later on we'll decide whether or not to, you know, join the sewer. You know, right, right. We, we can't hold you to a contract we haven't written yet, obviously, but I think the commitment has been voiced numerous <laughs> times of participating. Right. You have to participate. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Well, well, I think the, 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 the big picture concern <coughs> is... Your that, name, please. I'm sorry, Matthew Black. Oh. Um, the big picture concern is that <coughs> we're being asked to commit to a system without having all the financial details. Um, and we have um, motivation, sufficient motivation to tie into the sewer system. The issue is that if w wor workers' relocation to Littleton is based upon a number of factors, the community being one of them, uh, but the second part of that is they have a need uh, to, they, need, they have a need for 60,000 square feet. Um, and workers needs to be able to have a path forward to satisfy that requirement uh, in order for them to start construction on the building. And without a clear path forward, um, they're not able to commit to a construction contract to begin construction on the building. The, the main purpose of the facility is to house uh, the headquarters, uh, the executive team, uh, middle management, uh, and some of the support staff. And I think w without getting too caught up in the, the legal language that, that Doug's trying to clarify, what workers is looking for is a path forward uh, in the event that they need that amount of space. Um, workers has every motivation to tie into sewer. Uh, it, it, is a, it is a far superior product to septic. Um, it, from, a, um, from just a general operations perspective, it's much better to be tied into it. Uh, the broad parameters that have been presented to us, I think, are, are very much acceptable. There's nobody here that's trying to back off of uh, those terms. Um, but from our understanding, the financial costs of those financial firms haven't been finalized. Nope. And what, um, being frank, the, the, the concern is that those costs and the cost that eventually comes down is apportioned uh, to all of, all of the folks that are expected to tie in significantly increase. And um, what we can't do is find ourselves in a position where those costs become astronomical we've started construction on a facility and are essentially forced to pay those costs. So the reason that, that, that Doug is trying to clarify is that if we find ourselves in that position, we need some sort of optionality. And that optionality, we're not trying to say no nitrogen. What I heard and what I was trying to clarify earlier when I was sitting down at that end was that we would have that optionality. In other words, when we get to 60,000 square feet, or the need for 60,000 square feet, there are two options that, that I understood um, were being presented. Either the nitrogen enhanced aggregation. aggregation or the sewer. And I think what I'm hearing, or maybe what I'm hearing, or, or maybe what we're hearing and misunderstanding is that what you're saying is that you have to tie into sewer if sewer is available. Um, I think that that's an open-ended commitment that, like municipalities, municipalities can't sign up for open-ended commitments. And the concern on the credit union's end is, is very much the same. The executive team has a board, and ultimately they have to report what those liabilities and potential liabilities are, and a project is generally approved based upon a total budget. So what, what we're trying to do is just manage within those restraints um, what we're certainly not trying to do is to say we're interested in septic or we're interested in sewer uh, to go with the septic system. Um, our goal isn't to have a septic system on the site, and the reason why we're willing to phase this project in such a way is because of the because of that commitment. Ultimately, from workers' perspective, what workers would have to do at that point in time is essentially rip up that entire parking lot to upgrade that septic system mm -hmm. and to put this in. And that's gonna be extremely disruptive to their operations. First of all, they wouldn't be able to park those employees. They'd, te they'd have to temporarily shut down a portion of the building, house those individuals elsewhere. So I think from a from a just general operations perspective, everybody's interests are aligned. The challenge is that 
the town doesn't have all the economics laid out that you're asking us to commit to today. Um, but I can tell you that even if they were, even if the sewer was a little bit more or a little bit, even more than a little bit more than the septic system, they're significantly motivated to move forward with the sewer system. Uh, but again, they, they have to have some optionality there. Um, and, 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 and what I think um, Workers Credit Union is, is in a position to commit to is that when they get to the point where they need that next thousand square feet past 44,000, they're either going to do A or B. And we're trying to, and, and I think we are all aligned in saying that we all want to do B, which is to tie into the sewer system. And I think that over the course of the next few months, as those final terms of those agreements come, come out, um, you, you're going to find that there's motivation and alignment uh, based upon the numbers that have been shared with us today. I appreciate that, but there's some uh, you know, context which needs to be, I think we'd be well advised to be reminded of, and that's that if the sewer were not on the table, Board of Health might be treating this entirely different. I think your entertainment of the variance is, and I don't want to speak for the board of this, but based on the input I've heard or the feedback I've heard, is largely predicated on the notion that there's going to be a tie into the sewer. Otherwise, you may well be higher, uh, holding these folks to a different standard of the assumption was that the uh, solution uh, that was being sought is the ultimate long term. So I'd hate to be creating a situation where it's so open-ended that the sewer just is an option that they can opt in or out of regardless, uh, you know, just say, like, oh, that's a little more expensive or a different set of Folks, you know, you, you could folks make a series of commitments here, and then uh, a year from now there might be three or four other people sitting here saying, "Yeah, we've decided with that, you know, that that uh, um, aggregate uh, collection system. Once we get it built, that's that's going to be the amount of our our you know capital investment. And you know, uh, good luck with the sewer. You know, a different group of people might see it differently, and uh, I think protections are in order on both ends. Uh, and another board board of health too. Exactly. Yeah, that's sure. Saying. So I, I, you know, I, I'm not. I, I think we're far enough away from either the, the, the construction, you know, the project that you guys are anticipating in our own construction project, that the, the terms of our contract will be well known before you have to make you know, the commitments of shovels in the ground. Uh, so I would hope that uh, you know some commitment to um, to, to joining that. Uh, uh, sewer program, uh, which you know, it, we wouldn't be able to bind you to, but it would certainly, it would certainly uh, be appropriate as a, uh, a condition of a variance that the board of health might be considering. They they could bind their decision on that basis, but at the end of the day, if you decide the sewer is too expensive, you could you could opt out of both. Uh, so um, tying the two together, uh, not only seems logical, but it it can be uh, you know whatever. Uh, Unknowns there at this point will be known in the very near future, within six months before your construction schedule is underway. I, I would guess. No, uh, so no. the issue is that we plan to start construction next week. Next week on the building. We had previously planned on starting construction in November, mm -hmm. when this problem arose, yeah. and so we put everything on hold. Well, I I, I think that uh, there needs to be some teeth to the commitment to the sewer project, other than. Yeah, we're, we're on board with it, but boy, if we see the numbers or another group of people see numbers six months from now, we don't like them, you know, then we reserve the right to change our mind. And what's, uh, well, maybe perhaps then the solution here is for us to draft the commitment letters that you've suggested. We'll draft them reflecting, you know, our need to have the ability, should the septic be unavailable on any, on whatever level, to then come in and propose to you the nitrogen aggregation system. That's all. I mean, that's right. Is that? Would it, we, would it be? Mr. George has had his hand up yeah. first. Go ahead, George. Mr. Chairman, George Sanders, 672 Great Road. As I'm listening here as to what's being asked and what was said here, uh, I'm hearing from the attorney saying that. Um, for whatever reason, if things progress a little quicker and a little faster, they're saying that we need that 60,000 feet now. 
And they're saying that if they have agreement saying that they're going to hook up onto the sewer system, it's almost like we can't withdraw from that because you, the town, do not have the system in place for us to hook on to it. So what leverage do they have? They have the leverage to put this system in and treat their sewer there. So whether the economics of it is going to be this or that, the point is they are binding into a condition here that gives them no way out but to hook up onto the sewer system. And when you do contract, I was contracting off for the federal government for 15 years. You got an either or type situation if you come to a situation where that you can hook into it or you can put in a system. What we should be concerned about, we, we should be concerned about the fact that we're protecting the water. That is the key to the sewer system, is to protect the water in Correct. the town of Littleton. Right. So whether they hook on the sewer system or whether they put their own system in, they are doing environmental what this town want any company to do in this town. But what I get is that they're being sort of kind of pushed in, even though we're talking about the sewer system into the future here, not knowing exactly when there's going to be certain things that's going to come up and there's going to be better numbers a little later on as to what is what. I think that you should give them the variance based on the fact that when the town comes up and can give them a concrete roughly when the system is a go or no go, and at that time, they should be having the opportunity to negotiate at that time and say, okay, we will hook on to the system, definitely. Or their business has grown to the point that they need to get their system in and put their people out here because that's what they're doing. They're moving from Fitchburg to bring their headquarters here to Lelton. And with the growth of what's taking place with credit unit, they're growing fast. That's why they expanded. And George, I'm thankful that they came thank into you. the town of Littleton thank here. You. Thank you, George. Thank you. The question is, Anthony. go ahead. You know, Anthony Insaldi, interim town administrator. How about this? Is, is this possible that we grant, uh, that you grant a six-month variance? This way, will they have more information for workers? It's still an active construction site, so they can now switch their plans to the treatment plant if we didn't get, provide them. You know, I understand they don't want this open-ended, and I, I get that, but I understand. we're going to have more information. We right. just don't have it now. Within six months' time, they can start their project, and then we can sit down and look at this again. Because I don't in, know if that's possible. In May, you're going to have a town meeting, am I correct? And then, and then it's going to make a decision. Well, and, even and, before that. Even before, before that. And then we... Be out there with, uh, right, and then this, this, might give, this might give workers enough of an information to say, okay, here's yeah. the financials, but I here's still everything. Need, I still yes. need the assurance the, the, that whatever yeah. they're going to do is going to be connected to uh, our office. The question is, we could give them six months, but with the same condition that I mentioned before. If you feel that you need, as George mentioned, everybody coming from Fitchburg to, and then you have to use all the 60,000, you got two choices. You want to pump, that set the system every month, or you want to say, look, I'm going to put something there, and while you're building, you connect it and have your own. The question is, what happens if they beat you to it? As we give you six months, and they and the thing coming coming along well, and then you say, "Jesus, I think we better." Be, that way, you don't have no responsibility because having less your sewage treatment, you have to maintain it. You have to have an engineer. You have to do this. You have to do that. And then it's going to cost you more more, more mula. I call it mula, no money, mula. If you connect in the town, you have a easy way because the town is responsible. But if something goes wrong with their system. They can always block it, and you can still use your septic system <coughs> for a, a time, but then it's your responsibility to get it clean all the time if you have over 100 people there. I, I'm going to go on a limb here and say that you know, I do appreciate the, the, you know, the sort of thinking outside the box. I, we, we need a, a, a six-month variance doesn't do us any good because you know, we're talking uh, 
multiple millions of dollars these guys are going to commit to yeah. and that faucet's going to be open and what if something goes astray in six months we're halfway through construction and now we don't have a variance we you know we're, we're I understand, we I understand. all I, I think I think Paul I, I think we are all on the same page and I think we're we're, we're both acting in good faith in the same way that the town is saying we're going to do our best to get this system available to you. Workers is saying we're, we're going to do our best to commit to tie in. But if something happens in the interim where we need to occupy our building and the system's not available, or, and again, I don't expect this to happen, but the point was raised, what if it turns out the only way the system can be developed is if it, if, if you know, work is commits to a, a million okay. dollars or two million dollars? Chairman, yeah, this will be my, my final point on it. But, but that is, what if it's, who makes the determinants if the, if the schedule that we show, our construction shows, that our, our sewer would be ready for you to hook into six months after you want it to be? Well, do you guys get to say, well, that's sorry, that's too late for us? Or uh, if the dollar figure is, you know, $100 more than you want in a month, does that give you the, I mean, it, that's a little too open-ended. And I, and I wonder, and I want to back off because it's, it's clearly the Board of Health's authority here and you guys make whatever decision you want, but I want to reiterate access to council if you want to, you know, Kevin had a proposal on the table. If you guys want to do whatever you want to do and you want to have uh, council review your language and, and, and work with these folks on the finer points of it, that's fine. But I mean, I think I've kind of stress what our concerns are. We, we want, uh, you know, we're here as advocates, essentially. Yeah, no, Paul, and I, uh, again, we... But we can't leave it so open-ended <laughs> that, yeah, we like the sewer, but we reserve the right to say no for whatever reason down the road. But, but you can appreciate these guys also can't commit to an open-ended agreement to tie into your sewer without knowing what that's going to cost and, and when it's going to happen. You know what I mean? It's We're both unable at this point to... We, I'll put it this way, neither one of us want to enter into an open-ended agreement that, that could be a problem. Quite frankly, Paul, I think if, if, well, if what you said was early today, we'll have to come in. Excuse me. Order, order, order. Can, can we, like, circle back? This probably is a meeting better, meeting between between Sewer and you guys, maybe. Yeah. Or plain, or yeah. Well, you've heard of me. Yeah. yeah. Put so I, th yeah. so I, I think it's great that we're all talking about this. I think there's some interesting subjects interesting things that have come up i think it's great but i think we have some you guys have something to write up and to talk about i think we want to get in touch with um town administrator no no town, yeah, town, 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 town council yeah, and we like to get we talk like a little to, bit more yeah i mean i think there's lawyering to do on your end and there's lawyering to do on the town's end and i'm happy to make a motion right now based on what i what i'm comfortable with okay um and i can do that or we can continue this but before you say make a motion I wanted to well, understand. They already made the motion. Oh, wait a well, one second. One second. Uh, I think on. I think the chairman has the authority to understand what's going on. First, you have to understand, and you feel that you able to be connected to to the town, or you feel that you're going to be restrained, and you wanted to say, "I'm going to build my own and have it done." Uh, just to give you an idea, it would be between four and five million dollars to have a small sewage treatment on your on your side. Just to give you an idea, if you want to have a a, 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 a pipe, that uh, what they call it, open it, so because you were concerned about the driveway to be open up when the build is done and everything. If you have a T and a pipe already connected underground, you don't have to worry about taking the the, the driveway apart again because you wanted to make sure that. The building looks good. People, if people work there, you can have two options because you never know what can happen someday. You have a pipe underneath, have it connected, leave it open. If you need it, a sewage, your own sewage treatment, have it done. That way, it's done. But something happened, you don't have to take it, the driveway apart. So if you, you have to have it like a safety. I leave it up to you. But everything we do here is going to be. Uh, under under our attorney, well, I understand. okay, and uh, the Are question you? are you, you? I understand what you yes. what you're going through. There's the timing that you you're concerned. Timing. May, may I ask a question, Mr. Chairman? Um, the 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 um, enhanced treatment facility that would be required of us. Um, 
is that a, a sewage treatment plant or is that a nitrogen? What is the nitrogen? Nitrogen. nitrogen. It's a, a combination of everything because you have to have an engineer there to make sure everything's done right. You have to somebody to oversee that, and then they have to make sure when the, this that has got to be clean. It's a lot of work. Yeah, I done it. We, Mr. Right, but 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 we we I had Mr. Fermato review essentially what he we asked him to do is to design right and estimate for us the cost of developing a um, a, a custom built right, right. nitrogen reduction mm -hmm. system. There's on the shelf systems, right? You guys have you, you've seen them a lot with probably residential, right? I you buy it. the box like Press B or whoever. No, this is a big well, thing. Well we no well Mr. Chairman, that's what I want to be clear yeah. about because again um, we're not suggest I don't think you're suggesting that if we don't hook into sewer that we have to build a full fledged sewerage treatment plant. What we are talking about is a nitrogen. What? Well, tell me what we're talking about. Okay. Use <laughs> yeah, the, the enhanced treatment. You know, enhanced treatment, like it's a treatment. customly yeah. build yeah. Yeah. a. Like a faster jet, or like a, a custom designed right. fast system. Right. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. So, and because uh, my understanding, and I, again, I'm not the engineer, right. that a sewers treatment plant. You're right. I've seen we've, you know, they're a million dollars for the smallest one I've ever seen. But a custom nitrogen reduction system is somewhat less than that. Yeah. Well, S anyway, you quote yeah. me because years ago it used to be one price, but now they had one in Littleton, and I we went to see it, and it's like it's as big as this room. And it cost five million dollars. Right now they're about a quarter of the size, and right. fortunately cost a quarter of the money. Okay. The question is, I know you, you, you have timing. Yeah. You are concerned about your timing and the timing for the town. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I will guarantee if you have the pipe underneath there, by the time you build in, and they are ready to, ready to commit, they mean this between the state and the town, you have the pipe connected to your sewage treatment. It's up, it's a, I know it's a, it's a chance that you're taking. Oh. I can always take the second option, option, which would be to build the, the right. That's right. all so that's, we're asking. Is right. that so have when, that you, option. when you came in, it was you know we were talking with the town about you know potentially connecting with the sewer, and you know is what's our what's our fallback plan you know right. if the sewer doesn't happen. Right. Um, so uh, what my proposal, uh, what my motion outlined, I think is what what I'm comfortable with voting on right now. I don't know if you need to sit down and talk costs uh, with the town. Maybe it was a premature statement about the sewer. Um, no, no, I, but, no. I, I don't want anyone to think, and I'm going to talk with Mr. Glavey to make sure that I didn't, you know, I, there, there was no representation here. It, it's my client's yeah. position I know. that they want to tie into this sewer. Okay. Their concern, and I'm going to just make it clear, is one, if they run into a situation where it's not happening and all of a sudden they need to, to fulfill the building, we need that option of being able to put in the nitrogen treatment. I guess we've gone a step further, and I, I hope I wasn't <laughs> insulting of anybody, no, no, yeah. but it, it, we also kind of need the option that if the cost, as well as the timing of, of cooking into the sewer, <coughs> is prohibitive, mm -hmm. We want to be able to build our own <coughs> treatment. Right, right. That's all. Right. I, I don't again, think the cost of um, the sewer is under our. our I know that, yeah. and yeah. I, and I, I believe I my and I know my clients believe Mr. Glavy when they talk numbers about what it would be, and if it's that number or even you know plus or minus of that number, we're all in. Mm -hmm. okay. But if something happens and the cost to the town of developing this system is such that when you spread it out over the few people that are going to sign up, mm -hmm. it is a million or two million dollars, well then you can see where workers is going to say, I'll spend the six hundred or seven hundred thousand to build the nitrogen reduction. Yeah. That's all. Mm -hmm. I mean, again, yeah. we're not suggesting anyone's going to run the number up at all. You know, there are certain things that will be out of the town's hands. The question is that, that if you talk to Mr. Glavy, which is the chairman of yep. the Board of Health, about a okay. selectman, he will give you a, a better idea, okay? And the administrator can also accommodate you. Then could I suggest that we draft 
I, I take a shot at drafting the commitment letters that you've suggested, right. and I'll give them to the board and to right. town council, right. and make sure that they're acceptable to right. you. Right. And right. Obviously acceptable to my motion. Can I just make a motion, and sure. then we'll see what happens. I'd like to, to make a motion to grant the variance to Regulation 10, subject to the applicant occupying 44,000 square feet of the building and signing an agreement uh, to connect to town sewer once installed, subject to approval of town council and the applicant and the town on the cost and fees, and provide an acceptable nitrogen aggregation plan to utilize should town sewer not be installed. Also implementing a maintenance plan so the existing system is not compromised in the meantime, and finally, uh, executing a signed agreement with the town administrator, legal counsel, between yourselves. You want to say something, George? Two minutes, George, okay? Yeah. Uh, this is Chairman George Sand, 672 Great Road. Uh, with regard to the motion that, that you have here, I'm just wondering, uh, is it better for workers, if they want to put in the reduction plant for the nitrogen, would it be better for them to go that route now to, to do that, as you talk about the T for the hookup, uh, if at some point in time they want to hook in? Because I think the commitment that's being put forth to hook on the sewer system is a tough decision uh, for this board. But if they put in the nitrogen, which you talked about before, reduction on that system, if they went that way, it may be economic-wise better to do it while they're in the process of doing it, to put that in, and then they don't have a problem. Just that, to that, that makes sense, just to that, that point. they really do want to hook in the sewer. Yeah. yeah. And, well, I think, and, and they I, don't and need I, it right away because they're not occupying the full so. building that they can use the, the existing system. system. Right now, it works fine. Yeah, it works fine, but if, if something moves that they need to move more people in, as the chairman was said, they had two options. They had an option to put the reduction in. I don't know how much the reduction costs, but uh, the hook on the system, yeah, I think they want to hook on the system. They've said that time after time. But they should also have that option for the reduction. That should be a part of it. I, th I think the main point here is that hooking up to sewer, if there is ever a sewer, would be to the benefit of public health versus the nitrogen aggregation plan. Can we take two minutes outside? Go ahead. I'm <laughs> very sorry. Yeah, I, I would agree that the system would be better, <laughs> right. you know, overall. Yeah. But what they're trying to do is that they they try and get this building going. I know. Yeah, but I don't yeah, think we're, it would cost we're working with them. I don't think it would be cost effective for them to do the, the do nitrogen both. system and then say, okay, now we're occupied and we can set up, we can hook up. I don't think they want to spend that kind of money. I don't think it's that inexpensive, you know. It's not that expensive for them to that do that? That inexpensive for them to. Is that expensive or expensive? I think it's, it's probably expense. too expensive, it's expensive for them to do the nitrogen now, scrap it when sewer comes, because sewer is better for the environment. Right. Yeah. yeah, but the thing is, I, I, the what timing, I see, the timing. What I yeah, see, it's all about timing. I see the box in. And money. I see the box in that they're yeah. doing with the sewer. And I don't think that's, that's fair to box them in like that. We're trying to work with them. Well, I understand, yeah, I understand it's, you're working with them, but you know, like it was said that, Okay, the sword is a, is a key factor here uh, where you are crafting your decision here to, to let them go forward. Well, do you remember 10 years ago when that whole thing was a swamp? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know that, right? <laughs> so, you know, what are we doing here? Yeah. All right. Well, you know, you, you know, here's the point from the environmental standpoint. EPA said, okay, you can build on a swamp. But they do it all the time. If you have a sewage street. How do you think Venice was built? You see all these, all these, <laughs> all these sites where you got D, uh, D, D, D to, where they got houses and everything. You know, trying to what? They cut down the people visiting Venice. Well, no. visiting it. 
parts of Italy anyway because it, they're, totally it's so dirty and people are not yeah, we go really... Dirty. Did you ever go to, to Venice? No, but we just... I, I come trash. from Venice. It's trash. Yeah. People, no tourists. Trash. No tourists? Tourists? The, the tourists that make the trash. Exactly. Not the Italian no. people there. Limiting, I'm from there. They're and limiting the amount of people that will come to visit there. Uh, well, they're going to expose us. They're going to say, hey, are you going to be clean or dirty? If you're going to do it, don't come in. Don't put the... I'll throw everybody out. Don't put the government on... Uh, because now I guess the national parks are getting all littered and uh, not picking up the trash and stuff like that. Oh uh, boy, boy. So you this gentlemen own home. or presidents or own own the workers' credit union? Uh, well, we're owned by our members, but I'm I'm the president. Oh, you are. Yeah. yeah and, and Bob's the senior vice. If president. I come to your store, you're gonna say, please door out. <laughs> but what are you gonna do with it? You have an Acton branch. We do actually. We're actually we've moved the people from and from Acton. We have another facility that's right down the road in Westford. Yeah, uh -huh. brand new facility. So we moved. Yeah, it's nice. And so, what's going to happen to the Westford people? Are they going to come to Littleton, or or it's a branch? It's and a this, branch is gonna yeah, be, right. this is going to be. Yeah. So we're, we have we're going to not move everybody from Fitchburg because Fitchburg is our roots, right? And we still have a facility there. So we're not moving everybody, and we're not going to you know you know leave downtown Fitchburg. But mm -hmm. We're going to move. Probably about two thirds of the people from Fitchburg to here, mm -hmm. and honestly, uh, part of this because we're all playing what if games, right? Right. And in reality, we probably won't need that space within three to five years. In reality, probably even longer than that. But, but also, we're also talking about contracts. We're talking about agreements, and everything else that mm -hmm. you want us to sign with blood. And we have to be able to sign with blood. Yeah. But we can't do that if we if if we can't have some. Some path that yeah, would work. Right. Yeah, and, and we, because totally again, we agree. want to do what's right for the community. Yeah, yeah. We want to do what's right for the environment. So we're we're all, all. I think we're all on the same bus. We just got to create the agreement right. that makes. I think we all need a little bit more. I, you know, I, I hate to keep pushing you guys off, but I think everybody needs a little bit more information. You certainly do. You know, and right. And, but at this point, that's the whole thing. We're, we're ready to start. I know. <laughs> Yeah, and, and, and while we're starting, we have plenty of time to get through those details. That's why we're, we're talking 14 months before we're ready, right? But by then, hopefully everything with the septic yeah. will be, here's the plan, sure. yeah. sign here. Yeah. But you know, the good part about what workers did, they, they noted an error, an omission. They came and said, put the brakes on. Don't send the demolition in there yet. Right. Let's go to the town and let's see if we can get this resolved so that we can have smooth selling from here. Yeah. That's why they came here. We appreciate and, it. And, and, and I appreciate the fact they did that because the port didn't do that with everything that was done over in the port. So I have high regards for the credit union and the way that they are trying to deal with this matter. And I appreciate your patience and dealing with this here because this is probably one of the toughest situations that this board has held. Yeah. And uh, it's not easy when you're trying to do the right thing. It's very difficult. But, you know, there's always a solution to every problem. It may be technology that has to kick in. But nevertheless, you're the one that's representing this town and I know that you're going to do well by working here and trying to get this thing resolved. So, you know, I'm just praying that, you know, we go forth and do the right thing and those lawyers head up out there and get it squared away. <laughs> yeah, I think we all want the same thing. It's just the wording that we're trying to both yeah. figure out and agree to is our stumbling block. So, Have you guys talked to, have you guys met with the sewer um, committee at all? Yeah, because it's pretty, pretty innovative. Um, system that they're putting in pretty interesting and, that, and that's why we we're fully supportive and it, it, within the numbers that we've talked about it, 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 we're absolutely on board. Yeah. we, we yeah. signed up we've come to the hearing um, you know we're on the list it, it's just the way that this is being worded again not it, it, everyone wants the same thing but we're being asked to commit mm -hmm. on an open-ended basis and I'm, um, you know, it, it maybe that's if the design is, yeah, so. yeah, if it's within the price we've discussed, we're on, we're on board. But mm -hmm. 
be. Yeah. If it's not, then from a health perspective, there are yeah. alternatives, and, and we would like to pursue those alternatives. But and we're not in the. This is our headquarters. We've made other commitments to support the town and the community, and we're going to continue that. Mm -hmm. um, I just don't want you to pull out a little bit and go somewhere else. And, and we don't either. But to, to be blunt, it's not just town and local. There's also state and federal regulators that we've had to. <laughs> this has not been easy. <laughs> from, the, from the financial aspect of things. Yeah, and there's, there's, there are elements that would prefer we went elsewhere. Uh, we, want your, we want your major, major, major commitment. And so I'm, I'm wondering if there's, if, if we were, if the motion, yeah, if, if it's within the numbers, and again, we're not worrying about 10 or 20 percent. If it's within the numbers we're being told, we're on board. If it's not, then we'd like to pursue well, I guess they know, have I, I wonder if that's how you should word it, if it's, that's how the wording should be if it's, it's in your, your and again that's not budget. What, that's not, yeah, that's not something you can decide yeah. but right. something with the sewer to, sewer study yeah. with the sewer department that's why we come back yeah. I think there's you know, the credit land we don't want to talk about but we have a way of meeting regulation 10 and there's another way we would prefer to go and that's what kind of you know got this all going mm -hmm. As long as it's within you know, reason, mm -hmm. but if it's not within reason, we can still meet you know the board. Yeah, you need to have some guarantee that it's going to be a certain price and a certain time. But you don't know when you're going to need it, and we don't know when it's going to be done. Yeah. So you don't know how long you can wait. And that's what I was thinking. We, we've and we've I, already I, lost three months. It's, it's going to take 15, 17 months before you get the first phase up. Everything okay? I was talking. Um, um, okay. Is she? I don't know. Is this live? Yeah. She could be if she's well enough. Sorry. She's sleeping. Could could we ask you to reread your motion? Sure. I just want to make sure we don't box anybody in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just uh, was. Make, I'd like to make a motion to grant the variance to Regulation 10, subject to the applicant occupying only 44,000 square feet of the space in the building and um, signing an agreement with the town to connect to town sewer once it's installed, subject to approval of town council and the applicant and the town on cost, and provide an accurate provide an acceptable nitrogen aggregation plan to utilize should town sewer not be installed. Also implementing a, ma a maintenance plan so the existing system is not compromised in the meantime. Finally, executing a signed agreement with the town administrator. Just the last part, signing? Executing a, uh, a signed agreement with the town administrator. What agreement would that one be? Just on the overall, I guess, uh, agreement that it's all going to play out the way. Uh, before you, you grant the motion, I want you, uh, you to read to the end the one I gave you. It's very imperative. It's to you. You want me to read it? Go ahead. No, we already have some. Let them, Gina, let them uh, talk. Doug, here's another motion. All right, let, let me read to you what the agent asked me to say to you guys, okay? It says, Gina, there. When considering the variance request for the property, you can, it will ask the applicant to provide treatment for the sewage from the building. The proposal septic system contains regular system components, septic tank, pump chamber, and washing area. A leachy area, I'm sorry. As a condition for the granted the variance, you could request adding a treatment tank to the proposal system. Some example. Three tanks, fast, jet, 
singular. This tank provides a clean up waste water before it discharged to the leaching area. Did you get that? Yeah. That's what this the agent we have faith in agent. That's, that's the nitrogen that's aggregation. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's the nitrogen aggregation. Are you guys comfortable with that? I, I, the fact that the language says that the letters committing have to be acceptable to you, town council, this board, including costs. I think that gives us a framework to to move forward knowing we'll get the variance as long as we can come to an agreement on the letters that town council, this board, and and I know we'll be working with the town, and, and you guys are all acceptable in the letter. I think I think by doing that, we it gives us a couple of weeks to get those letters done and make sure everyone's comfortable. Rather than, I, am I, what we were trying to decide was whether we go forward, or ask you to go forward with your motion, or whether we just or put we just everything continue. on hold yeah, and right. go do all the letters and mm -hmm. stuff first. Mm -hmm. Good. But I think, Having the motion, if it's approved, gives us some comfort that we should yeah. we can go yeah. forward with all this other stuff. Yeah, and a guideline for are you what. Guys, are you we're accepting? Like. The, I mean, yeah. You accepting the letter that I read just now? No, no. We're talking about the motion. The motion. The motion, but this do I We either let them vote the motion, motion or we ask them to continue for two weeks. That's acceptable to everybody. So what would you recommend? Town on cost. Go with the motion. I think the motion well, it hasn't been seconded yet, I, so. Right. Well, again, I, I don't mean to imply we get to choose. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying before we let you go through the rest of that process, um, I, um, I, I think I think the motion is broad enough that it establishes the variance provided we are able to put together an agreement with the sewer and the town um, that's acceptable to you and to the town. Mm -hmm. If we can't get there, we can't get there, and then you know we're we're back coming back to talk about another alternative. Right. Um, but it, again, if the board decides to move forward with the motion and it's granted, it gives you some comfort that, provided we can come to a reasonable agreement with the town on the sewer thing, that you're all set. Right. Yeah, I think it makes sense. I, so I think it makes sense. We yeah. ask you to consider that. <laughs> Want to read it again? I've read it like three times. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> come on, Mr. Kidd. I'd like to make a motion to grant the variance to Regulation 10, subject to the applicant occupying only 44,000 square feet of the existing building and signing an agreement to connect a town sewer once installed, subject to approval of town council and the applicant and the town on cost, and provide an acceptable nitrogen aggregation plan to utilize should town sewer not be installed. Also implementing a maintenance plan so that the existing system is not compromised in the meantime. Finally, executing a signed agreement covering all of the aspects of the agreement with the town administrator. I'll second that. Great. Are you second it? Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Aye. Yeah. Thank you for your time. We Thank will you. get Patience. right on this. Now, Thank can you, for you guys coming. start doing anything without this now that you've got approval for one or yeah. the other? Yeah. Hopefully we can. Hopefully. Thank you very much. We yes. appreciate it. Yes. We really do. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank We have to uh, adjourn the meeting. Do we have any other things that we have to talk about? No, no. Any more administratively? No. Not unless you guys had any um, member comments. I don't. Uh, I'd like to make a motion to adjourn. Move the meeting. Second. Um, all in favor? favor? Aye. Aye.